Hey everyone, this is Stepan with Clear Online Video, and I want to welcome you to this quick tutorial on using parenting inside of After Effects Creative Cloud 2014. The goal of these tutorials is to provide you with some quick and easy tips on using After Effects to enhance your videos. Parenting is a neat way to have one layer or object control other layers within your project. Overall, it's a great way to speed up your animation time and it gives you the ability to test out different effects and looks. We'll start with After Effects open and we'll create a new composition by selecting this button in the project panel. Here we can give our comp a name and adjust the rest of our timeline settings. We'll use the 1080 preset that is already selected and we'll press the OK button. With our composition created, we'll start adding layers to this project. We'll navigate up to our shape tool and select the ellipse option from the drop down menu. Now we can click in our composition panel and drag to the right to create our shape. Holding down the shift button will allow you to create a shape with even proportions. You can edit the shape options like fill and stroke in this area here, but we'll leave that as is for now. Now let's go ahead and add some text to this project by navigating up to the type tool and selecting it. We can begin to type in our composition panel. You can adjust options like font and size in the character panel. You can view any panel that you're not seeing by enabling specific panels under the window options. Now that we have our text and shape in their final resting place, we can start adding some animation with the use of keyframes. We're going to add a bouncy ball look to this by adjusting our position values. With your shape layer selected, press P to reveal the position properties. We want our shape and text to complete the entire animation by the three second mark. So we'll move our CTI to that area and click the stopwatch icon next to position. This action enables keyframes for our position values. We've just told After Effects that at this point in time, we want this to be the position of our shape. Let's move our CTI to the two second area and adjust the position values. Here we can drag the X and Y values to the left and right. As you can see, since we've enabled the keyframe options for our position, After Effects has automatically added a keyframe to this point because we're adjusting our position values. We want this to fall from the top of our screen, so we'll adjust this until we get that look. We can move to the one second mark and add another keyframe to continue making this look like a bounce. And finally, we'll move to the beginning of our timeline and add a final keyframe. You can get a preview of your animation by looking at the graph that After Effects displays. Once we have our keyframes, we can do a RAM preview of our animation. Now, let's go ahead and parent our text layer so that it appears in the same way that our shape layer comes in. Make sure that you can see the parenting options by right-clicking in this window and navigating down to column and enable the parent option. Next, we'll select the pick whip icon next to our text layer and connect it to our shape layer. You'll know that you've successfully connected the two by taking a look at the parent field next to the text layer. It now shows that the shape layer is the parent to our text layer. You can also turn this off by changing this back to none in the dropdown. We won't do that here, but I wanted to show you how to disable the parenting options for a layer. Now we'll do a RAM preview of this parent effect. Check that out. Our text is now animating in the same way that our shape layer is. That's how easy and convenient parenting can be. Not only can you speed up your animation time, but you can also test out some different looks. I went ahead and added a square shape with some position keyframes in our composition, similar to the way we animated our circle shape. Here's a preview of what that looks like. I'll go ahead and turn on the visibility of our text layer. Now I can navigate to the parent field and change the parent from the circle shape layer to the new one that we just created. Now our text will follow what our square shape does. For housekeeping, you may want to rename the layers by pressing enter on each layer as it's selected. You'll also want to smooth out your movements by right-clicking on a keyframe and using the Easy Ease options. It's really that easy and a great way to try out some different looks for your graphics, transitions, or lower thirds. Thank you for watching this and make sure you check out my other tutorials here on Streaming Media Producer.